It's just gonna be today on the bus, okay? Logan's gonna stay home, but you go to school. Okay, you go to school. Here, let's get you ready and your mask. Can you put this one on? Can you put it on? Over your ears, over your ears, ears. Look, ear, right there. <laughs> there you go, let's see. Is that the bus? Yeah? All right, let's go. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I started a vlog like this where it's like, you know, first thing in the morning. <laughs> um, about to get Melina some milk. I just got the dogs their food um, and Barley with all his, seems like he has so much medication he's taking right now because of his um, surgery. Um, yeah, I'm talking about you. I am. I turned around. Um, he's got a lot of meds, but he's doing good. I'll give you guys a little update a little bit later on his leg. Gavin went to school. Logan did not go to school. Um, yesterday he was kind of, the day before, he was kind of like complaining that he didn't feel good. Um, but didn't really say what was bothering him. And we couldn't really figure it out either. So I don't know if he was just having like a headache or tummy, tummy ache. Cause I know Gavin had a tummy ache on Thanksgiving um, where he ended up like throwing up. And uh, I mean, it really just lasted like 24 hours though. So um, I don't know, I don't know if it was something like that with Logan, but he just kept, oh, you know, a little bit was like maybe trying to get attention too. Cause we really could not see anything wrong. He wasn't coughing, he wasn't sneezing, his throat didn't seem to be bothering him. But he did ask to stay home today. And I thought, he does really good in school. Let's just give him that. Um, just to make him feel a little bit special and cared for, so. He's home, he's still sleeping. I'm pretending, I don't know. Riley, eat all your food, all your meds, Basil, don't get it. But he's like, I want some of those meds. You want some of those meds? So this has been our living, or our sleeping, actually, situation in the last, gosh, what, week, Riley? Since, since you gave us a scare, yeah? He ruptured his stitches, and um, yeah, we're just not letting him jump up on furniture, and we have to keep an eye on him when he wants to go outside and go potty, because he obviously can't get through the doggy door with his cone. He ended up going back to the surgeon to have it looked at. Um, well, no, even before that, he went to our local vet. They bandaged him, did a honey band, and um, ever since then, he's, I think, gone back again to the surgeon. He had the, some of the stitches removed where it was already healing good, and then this Thursday, he has an appointment at our vet again to get the bandages swapped out. So basically, he has like a very slow healing process because it's an open wound um, where he ruptured the stitches and it's where he flexes a lot on his foot. He's gonna have to get bandages swapped out every couple days for maybe a month or so. Um, so yeah, we tried kenneling him, that didn't work. We tried, he actually got his tooth and his chin stuck in the kennel and that really freaked us out. It freaked out Robbie so much that he just did not want to be in the kennel and he was really trying to do whatever to get out of it. So we're like, okay, you're not going to the kennel. We'll just sleep out here with you until you're okay to be on your own because having him jumping up on the bed, having him, like I said, roaming through the house, getting into things, we just don't want him to hurt himself again. So uh, that's why we're sleeping out here. How'd you sleep? Good? <laughs> Are you still sleeping? How do you feel? You feel okay? Yes. You wanna go to school? No. <laughs> it's already too late. Gavin already went to school. The bus already came. <gasps> Does that mean you're staying home? Staying home. Staying home. Are you okay? Do you feel sicky? Yes. Yeah? What's wrong? What hurts? My, my head. Your head? It's still your head? Do you need medicine? Yes. Yes? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Probably try a little bit of breakfast first and see if that helps. Yeah? Maybe another muffin? Yes. And some milk? Yeah? Yes. Okay. 
You want to stay, go lay down with me and sister in the living room on the bed? Yeah. And go watch cartoons or the floor is lava? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're all going to lay here for a little bit, right? Everybody got your muffins? Muffins! Melina, you got your muffin? Muffin! I got a chocolate muffin. You got a chocolate muffin? Looks so delicious. Can I have a bite of your chocolate oh, muffin? It's the bedroom. Oh. Also, it's made of lava. Yeah. We're watching the floor. is lava. It loves the show now, huh? It's the bed. <laughs> you want to watch? Wait, what? Watch the lemmings. Grizzly and the lemmings. Uh, we're going to let the doggies here take a nap. Since Melina's down, I always put on waterfall sounds for the dogs so that they don't hear... Like today, like the garbage truck is going around and it's pretty loud, so I don't want him jumping all over the place. But even before his surgery, I always put this on for them. Like I want them to sleep. So peaceful, huh, Basil? Even though you sleep like a rock, no matter what. But I did want to sit with Logan and check in with him and see how he's doing. And then maybe let's do a little update about what he's been up to these last couple months, right? Hey, Logs. Hey. Hey, how do you feel? Good. You feel good? Yes. Do, do you feel sick? Hey, are you still? No. Your head still hurt? Yes. I haven't heard you complain about it. Does your head hurt? Yes. Are you sure? Should you be eating a lollipop then if your head hurts? Or maybe medicine? <laughs> Look at those teeth, they're still not coming in. Let me see your teeth. Can you smile? Smile. His bottom teeth are finally growing. These are growing, huh? The bottom? Your bottom teeth are growing. But not the top yet. I think he's probably gonna have like a year or two with the gap right here because those teeth are not, like I said, they weren't ready to come out, so. He's so cute though. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do a quick update about him. Um, yeah, so we did his birthday in Missouri, which was in October. Um, and then we found, red. we found red birds. Um, so as far as like his speech, he hasn't been doing speech therapy here at home. We ended that about a year ago. I don't know if I mentioned that ever, but we stopped with that. It got very expensive, um, but he's been doing really well. Like. At school he's been just loving it since starting school oh my god we haven't even showed anything or talked about anything about school um, the biggest thing is that they started school him and Gavin and um, Logan's in kindergarten he did start out in a special he did he did two classes so he started out in general education but then he was being pulled out to go into the um, into the special education classes so that he can get some emotional support, some social support, also um, to do his therapies, uh, speech therapy and occupational therapy. And that was going good, as good as we thought it, it would go, um, obviously because he was being pulled out of his regular classroom a couple times a day. He was actually having a hard time with that and it wasn't so much the transition from like, the classrooms themselves like what was going on in them like he adapted really well like once he got into the next classroom and went back to the other one it just took him a while to adjust back to being in that classroom but in the classroom itself he was fine it was the moves that was actually hard for him like he would have to have like his schedule like uh, written out in front of him like on a piece of paper like ahead of time is what they figured was working because if it was a surprise that like he was going to get pulled out for some reason, especially if he wasn't expecting it, like he would just not like it. Like it would really throw off his routine. So um, we had his uh, parent teacher conference about last month and um, we decided that he was going to stay in general education the whole time. So now he is just in general education and it's really cool to hear because I've my kids, you know, they've been in special ed since the beginning of preschool. It wasn't just regular preschool. You guys know, like, developmental preschool for 
um, at least my kids have done each have done two years Logan actually did two years plus a few months before a full year um, because his birthday and when he was diagnosed and how much longer they had left for the, for the school year he was able to do a couple months before that year ended which wasn't technically his first year um, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but He's been in school for a while um, and it's always been special education. It's always been, you know, kids like him. And um, once he went into kindergarten, they realized he he is capable of a lot more. Um, he's starting to socialize with other kids and engage. And I mean, even we're seeing it here at home in our neighborhood. He's playing with our neighborhood kids and he's he's he wants to like, we're not pushing him. We're not telling him to go. He just wants to follow them and play with him and they're actually interacting which is really cool so um in school he is doing the same and he's even <laughs> what are you doing he's mastered so many things like the alphabet what is it the alphabet mom i need help what do you need is it not working again is it stuck you have to press cancel there you go now you can move it he's mastered all the academic stuff like which is not surprising he's so smart so logan does a lot of um uh, assisting roles in his classroom he helps his teacher with a lot of things a lot of the stuff that he's already familiar with he will go up to the front of the classroom and help her um kind of like teach it to the kids and it's just so so fun to hear all the things that he's doing in, in school he does still have an iep and he does still get um, some services in school like speech and OT um, but with all of those he's doing so good um, so we haven't really thought about getting him any other therapies for home um, here at home he engages really well with Gavin now and with Gavin's ABA provider and then um, with Melina he plays with her so good now some of the things he says you guys <laughs> are so darn cute if he notices that you're upset or like the tone of your voice changes he'll say hey mom how are you feeling and then if i say oh i'm frustrated he's like you're frustrated and then we'll do a couple deep breaths together huh logan how do we do deep breaths can you show me how you do a deep breath show me deep breath one more do, you, do we feel better yes yes <laughs> so that is the update on logan um gavin will be home in about an hour um so i have a little bit of time to get dinner ready before he gets here because a little after he gets home he'll get speech and then it just gets really busy like those like between three and five time so i want to get started on that before it gets busy to take off your shoes huh mm. yeah. hi mm. Good job. How, can you pick up your backpack too? Put it on the table. Pick up your backpack. Just pick it up. Put it on the table. On the table. Yeah, just bring it up. Did you have a good day? Yeah? Yeah, good day? Good job. Gotta jump three times. Ready, set, go. Two, ready? One, two, three. Your turn. You do it three times. Ready, set, go. So Gavin's not really wanting to do any work. He's just kind of laying there on the trampoline. So I got Logan to see if, because um, Logan likes to jump with uh, his therapist on there too, but sometimes it like, Gavin doesn't want to engage if Logan's out there. So we're going to see if that helps reverse that this time because he's just kind of laying there, not really wanting to do much, just playing with like some of the little toys that the therapist brought. But we'll see if Gavin, or we'll see if Logan kind of helps kind of wake him up a little bit. Hey buddy, what's going on? Are you tired? Yeah. Yeah, I said, do you want to jump more? And he said, jump more, but didn't move. Hmm. Jump more. Yeah, that's what your brother said, but he doesn't want to move. He wants to lay here like a lump. It's cool when the fruits and vegetables bounce, huh? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Gavin, do you want some water? Uh, um, jump it? with me. Jump with me? Yeah. 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 Do you want some water? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got you. How cute. I got you. 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 Oh, now you're 
Uh -uh. Something's gonna get me. Run! Run! Here he comes. Oh no, he's catching up. Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, he got me. He got me. Should I chase you? Yes. Chase me. Chase me. Okay, here I come. Whoa! You're so fast. Oh. Watch out, Gavin. Watch out. You go down. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I need a break. I'm going to get you. Oh no, you're going to get me. What do you I want? If I sat down, he might request again. He must be done. Huh. What's going on? He's thirsty. Oh, wrong oh. cup. Here, this one. This one. This one. This one. <laughs> you guys, look at this new rug that I just got. Uh, came in from Amazon. I think it was on sale for like 20, 22 bucks. It's normally... I don't know, it's only like maybe 29 or 30, something like that, but it's so cute, look at it. It's uh, pretty thin, um, but it's thick enough though, like it is a rug, um, and it should wash really easy. Do you like the rug? Do you like it? Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice, yeah. All right guys, but we are going to, come here, come here, come here. We're gonna say good night. Can you say good night? We're gonna end the vlog. Mm. Say bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you later. Tell them bye bye. <laughs> She's like, nope, I gotta go. Okay, guys, we're gonna end the vlog. Um, the boys are gonna start winding down for bed. They have school tomorrow, and I gotta get started on their lunches and all that good stuff that we do at the end of the night. So we're gonna say good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.